Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White. I do a lot of tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, so check the description for everything you need to know. I do all of the lead code problems, so I probably have ones that you're struggling with. If you want those explained to you, go on my channel. I have a playlist with all of them. So uh, it's late at night right now. I'm just going over some ones, problems that I did, but I never made videos on. Uh, I did a ton of easy ones. I just never made videos on them. So this one's called Jewels and Stones, probably one of the easiest problems on lead code. You're given strings J representing the types of stones that are jewels and S representing the stones you have. Each character in S is a type of stone that you have. You want to know how many stones you have that are also jewels. The letters J, uh, letters in J are guaranteed distinct and the letters in J and S are all letters, I guess. And all characters in J and S are letters. Okay, cool. Uh, letters are case sensitive, so A is considered different type of stone from A. Uh, capital A. So we have a uh, J equals lowercase a and capital A and we want to know how many stones that we have are jewels as well. So we have a lowercase a and two capital A's and a lowercase a and a capital A are both different types of jewels. So then we have three different, we have three jewels, not three different jewels, but we have three jewels all together because uh, lowercase a and capital A are both jewels and we have two out ca capital A's and one lowercase a. That's pretty much all there is to it. So this is a really easy problem. We'll just declare our num jewels counter variable. We're just gonna have a counter. We're gonna loop through our stones and then we're gonna see what if our stone, we're gonna iterate through all of our stones. It's just a linear time scan through all of our stones. It's a string character by character. Um, and we'll just check the current character and if it is a jewel, then we increment our counter and that's pretty much it. Super easy problem. I don't even know why I'm making a video. I just wanna make a video for all of them. So that's it. Uh, so while s is i is less than s dot length, i plus plus. So that's our initial for loop through our stones that we have. And then all we have to do is use this neat little handy method that everyone should get comfortable using. Um, it's index of, it's kind of just used to make sure that something exists in a string. So if we use j.index of s.char at i, um, so s.char at i is the current character we're looping on. So the first character we loop on is this lowercase a. We do j.index of if j.index of this lowercase a is greater than negative one because it'll return negative one if it's not in the string then that means it is in the string that means it is a jewel and we are able to increment our counter because we know that that stone is a jewel so that'll we just run through that whole loop in linear a linear scan through our um, string our s string uh, all of our stones, we do a linear scan at each character, check if it's a jewel or not. If it's a jewel, we increment the jewel counter, and then we just return num jewels at the end. Num jewels, sorry. Make sure you get your syntax right. And that's, oh, let's just one, oh my gosh, sorry guys. You have to, uh, I hate that rule where you have to, uh, you resubmit too soon. There we go, success, uh, runtime, whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, that super easy problem, uh, not really even much of an explanation there. It's just one of the easiest problems on Lee code. So thanks for watching. Uh, that's probably a beginner one. So, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, if you have a better solution or, uh, anything that you want to tell me. So, uh, thanks for watching. Check out the other ones and I'll see you guys later.